Hey guys, what's up? Kruger Team 9 here, coming at you with a brand new video. In this video, me and my dad are going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghost and talking about our opinions of them taking out Quixie Open. And in this gameplay, this is just pretty much showing you I went 48-3 and three, and I'm usually a sniper, you can tell by my YouTube channel. So, Dad, let's go on and get right into it. What do you think about Call of Duty Ghost let me taking just out say, Let me Open? just say this real quick to you guys, alright? This is what's going to happen to you if they get rid of Quickscope. This kid quick scopes. He's good at it. He's not only good, he's great. He's awesome, okay? If you want to take the quick scope away from him, this is what he's going to do. He's going to hop on a regular gun, and he's going to kick your ass. He's going to hand your ass to you. Watch this gameplay. Watch this video, and you'll see exactly what people that quick scope do. This is what happens. This is what's going to happen to you on Ghost if they take quick scope away. So it's up to you. Would you rather him use a regular gun? Would you rather him quick scope? Me, personally, I don't care for quick scopers, okay? I don't care for hard scopers. I don't like a sniper, period. But I think it takes skill to be a quick scope, to do this quick scope thing. Um, do I like them? No. Can I do it? No. I'm a hard scoper. <laughs> I'm a regular gunner. But uh, I think they should keep it in, really. I I'm kind of glad that they're taking it out. But then again, I'm thinking it kind of sucks. It's unfair to the other kids that uh, quick scope and enjoy quick scoping. Everybody has something they like to do. Some like regular guns, some like to snipe. Some like you using little C4 packs and throwing them like little bitches. Some like to uh, do the other grenades. I like the shock charges, right? It's, it's it, you know, it is what it is. Should they take it? No. Because a bunch of people are crying about it? Absolutely not. If a people are going to cry about it, then keep it in. That's what I think. That's just my opinion, though. But I'm like, watch the video. Do you really, would you prefer this badass to quick scope on you? Or would you prefer him to get a regular gun and just tear your ass a new one? Because this is what's going to happen right here, fellas. Check it out. Well, there you have it on his opinion. <laughs> My opinion about it is that they should not take out quick scoping because the people that are making a living off YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and their Facebook page and all that, they're known for sniping like FaZe, Optic, Dare, Soar, DZ. You know, all them big sniping clans that you guys know about that are making a living and do not even have to work a job. They just get to sit here and make montage clips all day and play Call of Duty all day and get paid the same amount even more sometimes if they are really big than people that go and work a job at fast food or something like that so it's like you're just kinda taking away people's lifestyles on how they live what well, they live off of. Let's all remember this is a video game okay there's a big difference in playing a video game and going out and working a full-time job of course but the thing is, a lot of kids are probably thinking, you're talking about something, Ghost is going to be Infinity War, and this is Treyarch. There's no really no difference. If you're a Call of Duty player, a Call of Duty player. That's how it is, period. If you can quick scope on this, you can quick scope on uh, Call of Duty and Infinity War. Treyarch and Infinity War is the same thing. I know you guys all play. Some like it, some don't. I know a majority of you guys do the Call of Duty, period, whether it's Infinity War or uh, the Treyarch. Regardless, you're going to get your ass handed to you. If they uh, keep the quick scope in, but I look at it this way: if they take it out, then all these guys are going to still—they're uh, going to this hard scope. You—they're know, still going to snipe. A sniper is a sniper, period. Whether they have quick scope or not, they're still going to snipe you. They're going to kill you just as easy, easy as they do quick scoping as they do hard. They're going to do a hard scope on you. You're going to die just as quick, if not quicker. Um, or they'll go to regular guns, and then where are you going to be? I say keep the shit in. Let the guys do what they want to do. If they if they if they can't quick scope, they're gonna find something else to do to replace that. And then you're gonna cry about that as well and think they're gonna remove it from the game. I don't think so. You can only cry so damn much. So uh, just deal with it. It is what it is. Deal with it and make the best of it and uh, find a way to get around it. Uh, I think that they should not take it out because just because I find it fun. I find it very challenging. I think it takes actually real skill to be able to face someone that has an automatic and you have a bolt action plus with the new patch they did with the uh, DSR and they made the bolt action so you can't even do your bolt really that fast you have to like delay it some people know how to get around the patch I don't but some people are just so tired of it they've quit quick scoping and sniping they've even left black ops 2 and went to modern warfare 3 to go for sniping I know FaZe is doing it. I know uh, if you guys know who Vane Union is, I've talked about them. They're doing it. They're going back to MW3 and trying to hit clips on there. 
So it's like you're just kind of taking away the fun out of it because you guys are just too big of pussies. It's kind of like the target finder. I think the target finder, for some people, it takes skill because they're not seeing their uh, peripheral vision at all. It don't have anything to do with peripheral. I don't, I don't think I have good peripheral vision. It's what I have problems seeing guys if they're on the other side of the map. I use the target finder. I'm an old guy, though. I should be allowed to use the target finder, okay? It helps me out. But you young guys that are supposed to be bosses that have 20-20 uh, eyesight or whatever it is or better than that, actually, you shouldn't have to have a target finder. You know, if I was your age, if I was, if I was the age of a lot of these young kids on here, I certainly wouldn't be using a target finder. Why do I use a target finder? For one thing, to spot out snipers <laughs> from the other side of the map. You know, I mean, but would I rather go against a sniper or somebody using an MSMC? Probably a sniper being, like you said, it takes so long to reload now yep. than what it used to. And especially close quarters. Because by the, by the time the sniper is even remotely thinking about getting another shot off on me, I'm already taking his ass out with the LSAT, okay? Yep. But like I said, it is what it is. Everybody's going to get, you know, everybody has their preference in weapons. Some like to snipe, some don't. Some like using target finders, some don't. Some do the red dot, some do the laser. It is, you know, whatever you prefer. And I think everybody should be able to, to do what they want to do. They should be able to use what weapon they want. If you like quick scoping, then you should be allowed to quick scope. If you want to use the LSAT with the Target Finder, then that's what you should be doing. I know a lot of high prestige, and the reason I went to Target Finder, real quick here, fellas, and don't shoot me down for it, is because a lot of high prestige are using assault rifles with Target Finders on them. I've, I've noticed that lately. Why? I don't know. I guess to get an easier kill, but if you're a high prestige, you shouldn't have to. Period. Yep. Well, there you guys have it. This game play is about to end. I went 48-3, and three, like he said. I don't think you would want that going against and, you. And this is Mr. Devil here. He played on my gamer tag, Billy the Kid. He had my permission to do so, and he whooped ass and represent end of story. That's how it is, man. You yep. do what you do, right? All right? Well, that's our opinion on Ghost. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop it a like. If you really enjoyed it, drop it a favorite. And if you super duper enjoyed it and just can't believe it and love it, then share it to your Facebook, Twitter, download it, re-upload it on YouTube, whatever. Also, subscribe and comment what you think about Ghost. Thanks, guys, for watching my video, and have a great day.